On Tuesday at 2.08 p.m., the Nord police responded to a breaking and entering and larceny in progress at a residence on Union Street. Chief Brooks has the latest information on this event. Hi, Chief Bill Brooks of the Norwood Police Department. I want to talk about a, a house break that we had Tuesday of uh, this week. You know, house, house breaks are down. Um, they're down not only in Norwood, but throughout Massachusetts. We just don't see quite as many as we used to. So just before three o'clock on Tuesday, our units responded to a call of a break-in that had just occurred on Union Street um, around the uh, intersection of, of Sumner. And what had happened is the, uh, the alarm actually went off, triggering the camera inside the home, and the homeowner uh, was able to see an image on his phone, called his father and asked his father to go to the house, and it was reported to us, and, and we, got there, we got there right away. Of course, the alarm going off had scared the subject away, so there was nobody on scene when we got there. But we, we did have a good image of the offender inside the home. Um, we used a canine from the Canton Police Department to do a track. And we also had units from the Sharon and Walpole Police Departments that arrived at the scene. Now, information was provided to us by Officer Bob Doherty of the Walpole Police Department. Coincidentally, Officer Doherty used to be a Norwood police officer. Now he works in Walpole. And he had information uh, about uh, a subject in the area that um, he thought might be of interest to us. So our detectives processed the scene, but then they, they went about looking to interview that uh, person who actually lives in the area of the break-in. Um, Detective Sergeant McDonough and Detective Jen Hoyle went to the person's home, confronted them, interviewed them, and uh, eventually uh, arrested the woman who lives there, who's a 32-year-old woman who lives in the neighborhood. Um, though the case was investigated by like I said, Detective Sergeant Tim McDonough, Detective Jen Hoyle, and then the patrol officers on the case were Officer Ryan Sinclair uh, and Officer Victor Saba. They did a great job. This is kind of unusual that there's a break-in and, and within a couple of hours of the break, we have the person in custody, um, but uh, that worked out here. Um, because the person was in the home just a short amount of time, only one item was stolen, uh, we recovered that during the arrest. So a very successful investigation by those officers.